Hi everyone, this is Harvest Loon. I am back with an unboxing video. It's been a while since I've recorded anything. I haven't had the time to edit stuff, though I do have a lot to edit. But this new Skull Panda line that just released, I had I knew I had to buy it immediately. I am obsessed with this. So I am gonna try to unbox this for you and you know, enjoy it because a skull panda is my favorite art series i just love the look so much and so yeah let's unbox it i still have the wrap on it got my exacto knife try to be as careful as i can there we go get underneath yeah this line is beautiful texture of this box is a nice like matte finish and then the skull panda is raised this design is so beautiful and then you can see the different options here that we can get i don't know if i want to open it and display it the way that it's supposed to just because for the sake for me i think i just want to keep the box as is so let me Get these out of the box and we will go from there here's a closer look at the box again truly such a nice finish you can see the texture of the paper they used through like my lighting and then this is gold i i've said this i am a sucker for earth tones green is one of my favorite colors i complement it with orange <laughs> Uh, those two are my favorite color combos. This line is just very kind of like goblin core in a way, very mossy, like witchy, even though it's like inspired by ink, but just the colors and the designs of these different characters. Yeah, see the forest, the moss. It's just what I was reminded of. So out of these, I do, I love the forest. That is probably the one I want the most out of all of them. Also the spring and the scene. And we'll see if we can get the secret. That would be insane if we did. But again, this whole line is beautiful. I wanted all of them. So I bought the full set and we'll see what happens. Let's open. This bag is nice. Let's see what we get. Wow, first one we got. It's not the moss actually. It looks like, am I crazy? It's not looking like any of these on here. Okay. Hold on. Okay, it is the moss. I was thrown off. It didn't quite look like that, but I do see it now. So we got the moss. It's a beautiful figure. The colors are great. And her hair is mossy, which is a beautiful touch. This is stone with moss peeking out. Beautiful. An absolutely stunning piece. And then here's the card. On to the next one. See the card there. We're gonna avoid that. We like to surprise when we open them first. So 
This one feels small. Awesome. Okay, so this should be the forest. Yes, the first one. My favorite one. It's very sepia toned, which I'm obsessed with personally. It's very, very nice. Love this leaf. Two leaves. So nice. Yes, absolutely beautiful. And then here's the card. Next one. Wow, this one's struggling to open for some reason. All right, we got it. Oh, very nice. Love this. And these literally look like wood little knobs. And then her shoes look like tree stumps. This is a beautiful figure. It really does look like wood. And there's a little bloom there. I really love this. I always feel like the way their faces are for skull pandas are truly inspiring for some beautiful like makeup looks for the makeup artists out there. I enjoy makeup myself. I've not ever really done any editorial style stuff, but the makeup looks on these skull panda figures, it really gives me the urge to do so. On to the fourth one. This one's got a different finish than the other ones. This is the first like truly shiny one so far. So this one is the bridge. It has a touch of purple. It kind of doesn't pick up as well on camera as it does for me in person. Appears to be a bird. This one's very nice. This one's got a very, like her face looks very peaceful, youthful. This is a beautiful touch. With some more birds coming up here. That's so awesome. Absolutely lovely. bigger than the others so far. Even the bag is wider. Oh, yeah, of course. This is a beautiful one. So if we look at the card, this one is the valley. There's the detail of the hat. Take this off. pearlescent finish on that flower. The details on the shoes look like mountains. It's very nice. Same with the hat. This one has different kind of thing in it. Hold on. Let's see. Feels kind of small. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Look at this. It 
Does it light up? I think it might. I believe, yeah, this one is the moon. That's unexpected. Yep, here's the card for it. The moon. All right, give me a second to set this up and I'll be back. So this is the figure all assembled. It is a new like manufactured process to look like it glows from within as if it was the moon, like moonlight. And here's the details of it. It's got an overall like pearlescent finish. It's breathtaking. Holding the moon. And this is how it works. You just pop this off and here's the switch. And this is what it looks like off. It's very cute off. Like I like the complexion, but something about on, like that is so unexpected. That is amazing. And that's the moon. There's a closer look at the card. On to the next one. All right, awesome. Yeah, this is one that I was looking forward to. So if we get a finer look at it, this one's kind of red and burgundy toned, which I love. I think all of these colors look very nice together. They complement the cream very well. It's a very nice color palette. Let's get a closer look at the card. And this one's called The Scene. Oh, she has a headpiece. Let me get that. There's the final result. Such a cute figure. Still no sign of the secret one. This one is gorgeous. Get a closer look at her. Another instance where I love her makeup. The detailing on this is so nice. I like this kind of, again, this kind of material, it's kind of see-through. Would you call that opaque? I am not sure. Let's get a look at the card. This one is the snow. Next figure. This one has some pieces to it. It might be the courtyard one because I saw like a piece in there. Not actually. Okay, let's get the card out. This one's the wind, I see. And here's the wind piece.
So this goes over her eye. Let's see, how does it do that? Like this. So you could do with or without. That is completely up to you. Kind of goes on like a magnet. I don't know, I like it both ways. It's hard to say how I would personally display it. The detail back here is so beautiful. I really, really like that feature. The ones where they have something like kind of breaking through and peeking out. I think that's so nice. And here is a look at the card for the wind. Okay, we have three left. So ones that we don't have, I believe we don't have the bamboo, the spring, and the courtyard. And then there's that secret where we're going to find out, see what we got. Let's open it up. All right, this one looks like the spring. Let's take a look at the card. It is, it's even more beautiful in person, I do have to say. I love that the hair is the leaves. I love the color scheme of this. Again, like I said, I love green, especially more earthy shades. And everything about this is beautiful. The makeup, amazing, I wanna try that now. And then we have the flower that's in the pearlescent finish on the back. I really love this one. Okay, we have this one now. This one is the bamboo one. Looks like there's some pieces. This one might light up as well. Utilizing water transfer printing technology to recreate the brush strokes referencing traditional Chinese ink paintings and emphasizing the profound power of blank spaces on paper. That's beautiful. The crafted parts are the helmet and clothing. Wow. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. how she looks. I love the hair personally. I love this detail on the foot. A little close-up detail of the little piece she's holding. And yeah, this is what that little informative card was referencing. That's very awesome. And her feet are bamboo, which is so cute. This is a very beautiful piece. And just another look at the card. We're on to the last box. So the only one out of the normal set that we don't have yet is the courtyard. And this has like a little piece. I know that because I've seen some photos of it out of box. And to be honest, this one does feel a little bit heavier. So I'm just assuming that it is gonna be the courtyard and we didn't get the secret one, which sucks. But at the same time, I still really liked the courtyard one. So it's honestly a win-win in either way you look at it. Yep. Because here's the piece for it. So can confirm 
that it is the courtyard. Yep, what a cool piece. All right, let's attach this. don't know if this like slides in at all it doesn't appear to but it does fit there just like that so when you set it down it would look like that which is nice but i do really like how she looks just on her own so i don't know if i would display her personally with that piece i love how her hair is very reminiscent of ink. I like how the finish goes from kind of see-through to just not being see-through at all. It's very shiny. It's a very, very nice touch. I really like the detail on her hands, the gloves she's got on. I like this back here with the we call them vines and flowers. And here's what it would look like with that piece. It's a very, very awesome concept. Okay, let's get a look at the art card. Here is the art card courtyard. And then we have another little informative card here. The screen accessory can be attached to the slot on the figurine's base and can be moved left and right. Okay, so that can be done, but I don't know how. It might just mean like that. Because it really doesn't like snap into place at all. So if I really wanted, I could do that. So you can still see the face, but it just takes up more like space. But that is the last one, the courtyard. All right, everyone, this has been Harvest Loon unboxing the new Skull Panda ink collection. It's such a beautiful line. I love how it incorporates not just earthy tones but we have some that are arguably gothic as well as like cool tones and i just love the range that all of these have and still looking uniform as an entire set uh out of all of them my favorite one probably is the forest one i just really love the colors and how they all look together the moss one is great and the spring one um, and I believe it's the ink one up there with the bangs. Uh, she's really, really cute. I just, I love how her hair looks. It's hard to pick a favorite, but those are probably the ones I would lean towards the most. This moon one, I am blown away at the fact that it incorporates a light inside to glow like the moon. You can kind of see that now, how I have it here, how it's just kind of glowing and it's beautiful. If you want to keep up with me in any future unboxing content, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment on what kind of stuff you would like to see. This Skull Panda stuff is kind of my vibe. It's what I, the whole aesthetic is what I lean towards the most. So if there's anything out there that you think is kind of similar to this and perhaps I've not even heard of it, just let me know. You can also follow me on Instagram. I believe it's at harvestloon.toys. And thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. See you guys all in the next one. Bye.